Got the engine out. I wonder if this will still work for B and D. We'll find out. But it's ready to go. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's out there. Is it different from B series? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's all different. Sound light. Sound light. Uh, okay. Clean the engine bay. I already know this was shit, right? You guys see that? That's not even our doing, okay? So I'm cleaning the engine bay and I'm spraying it and this is what I find. Okay, cleaning the engine bay, cleaning out all the stuff, all the caca, and you know, just cleaning it all out and... What? There's a hole in the shock tower. There's no way the pressure washer did this because it's not rusty or crusty or even musty. So how the fuck, I don't know. I just thought I'd clean up everything cause it's all dirty and yuck. So now it doesn't look so bad cause I take care of other people's cars like as if it's my own. So that's kind of something that we do here and clean these off. You can actually eat off of these, no, no dirt. So well, just a little bit, but whatever, you know. Oh man, how am I going to Oh, it blew a hole. Our wool. Right? Did you know about that one? That hole? That hole? Did you know about that one? All right, guys. Got my tank filled. Got my welder out here with this broken ass wheel. Time to start welding. All right, so. There goes my helmet. <clears throat> Set that down right here. So what I'm doing now is all the little drill marks that people have put in here, like where they're putting screws to like fasten something. I'm getting rid of all those. Got rid of that one. This one is actually a factory hole. Got rid of the one that's there, the one that's here, and that's an extra one. I'm gonna get rid of this one as well. Um, got rid of the two that were down here. And I started filling in this hole right here. Got to fill in this hole. I know it looks like shit, but that hole's filled up and then I got to grind them all down you know what have you um this is actually a factory right here this hole's factory so I'm just trying to keep it OE as possible and uh just eliminate what doesn't need to be there I'm not fully shaving the bay uh, if I was going to do that all these holes would be filled up and it wouldn't even fucking matter I do have belt sanders coming in soon so I'm going to get rid of these and then you know I'll be able to sand these down perfectly fine these penetrated all the way through. As you can see, there was a hole here and this one penetrated all the way through. Let me get rid of that little bit. Of course, Sadowski's probably gonna scream at me, but you know, whatever, it's penetrated through. Um, so yeah, it's looking good, looking good so far. It's gotta weld that, but it's getting kind of dark out here. I know it doesn't look like it, but there's no light here. So it's kind of hard to see. But I'm going to keep welding and keep going at it and just try to take my mind off of things while I'm working on it. Oh, so far, this is what I got, guys. These three holes or four holes, I didn't, well, five, now that I see this one. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so these five holes were done by the previous person, six if you count this one. Uh, whoever welded this fucking bracket on here did a terrible job. A uh, hundred... Uh, negative 100 out of 10 I would never do um, This bracket right here. That's the old bracket literally Chris Sadowski would be shitty bricks if he saw this well because it's so shitty um, I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna close these up Rather than just filling them up full of weld because I do Lose their structural integrity and I don't know if this side is bulged out Right here and it needs to be pushed back in <clears throat> we'll find out when I put the bracket on but first I got to get rid of these like this fucking piece here and this right here and I got to smooth this down so that way everything is nice and flat and then I can go on from there and see what I could do about these uh currently my welder is out of gas so they're gonna need to go take that and go fill it up for me and then I can go from there it looks like also here if you can see that it looks like this 
shifted over like it went down like the actual structural support went down so i don't know what to do about that i'll probably weld right here like in that crack just to keep it from going down more possibly because there is a spot weld here and there is one right here so that's what i'm going to end up doing and we'll see what we got going on after that and i'm currently dirty okay i know i didn't film it i just wanted to get it done but that's in there that's not going nowhere's oh that's like this weird like grains on it. it's weird but anyways it's welded in here welded in on the side welded here i had to bring this kind of out this way because this is all bent so if i had it in i'm pretty sure this wouldn't level up with the trans because the trans does sit right here where the mount would sit so this i had to literally kind of bolt it in where the bolt hole goes and then kind of bring it out this way tighten it and then weld and build up weld here on this side so all on the side here is all weld like all this it's like that thick just weld like that okay so we used some seam sealer we had a cut open but as you can see the seam seal is there oh shit the paint is reacting to it told you Okay, well, so yeah, we're just doing the etching primer throughout the engine bay. I know it looks like shit, but trust the process, it's gonna look good. Uh, we might have to heat that up. Yeah. Great. Right. Otherwise, if, if we were to paint that, it wouldn't fucking... No. Oh, well, at least it gives it that factory crackle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time to do a stress test on this bracket here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a stress test on it real quick and uh, we're gonna see how it goes. Ready, Alex? Sure. Your wife took the kids. You haven't paid your bills. Your cat died. You're losing your house. Nope, still standing. All right, that's pretty good. All right, so I just welded this little doohickey closed because we're not gonna be using that. Okay, so that's going to be welded closed so no water will come through. I've cut these off before and just welded the inside and it works. It works on my friend Sam's car. No leaks whatsoever. So, yeah. Trans is painted. Alex is clean. Took a shower. It smells nice. Even though I can't smell. Uh, yep. Uh, you want to start taking off the uh, no. swaddle body for the from the D-Series. It's a Skunk 2 Alpha. What's going on here? Okay. Look at how happy he is. He looks so happy to do that. I told you we'll put it on when the motor's in. Step over all this stuff. So today I got these for the little catch can that he wants in the car and also a bag of those 10 millimeter nuts that I did not get from Resto Tutor, but they are that's the uh, sorry, I'm so shaky. I, I think I, I don't I don't think I've eaten today, but that's the size and quantity. Twenty five bucks. I just ended the filming on accident. Okay, so we have these two nineties coming out straight from the back of the block. They're gonna come up and go over here to this uh, oil catch can, which has a convenient dipstick, right? So you can check and see how much oil is there. Um, I did redid the wiring to make it look all nice and clean and new even use the OEM clips as you can see here and here It goes around so that looks fresh and clean uh, Now I wanted to use OEM hardware So I decided to do the OEM zinc gold So that's that's these boys right here because they are zinc you guys can tell So I'm gonna get rid of all these bolts here Clean up, clean it up. Get rid of all these bolts here. Make it look nice and and neat, and show you guys a before and after, obviously, and start bolting up things that I can with uh, with the tens here onto the frame, like the headlights and such. So, all right, here we go. I don't think it looks bad at all. What do you guys think? Now to see if these little bungs fit, right? Because originally this were, these are dash 10s and this is a dash eight. 
So I needed to get a, a dash eight to a dash 10. That's the part number that I got. So I'm gonna open this up and screw these in and see if it fits. So give me a second. And just like that, man, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. So I get the other one out. Go to the end. There you go. Test fitting, and it works. Nice. So the reason why I wanted to put the catch can here is because it's convenient. If it goes underneath the car, you could just untwist the bottom of it and it, it'll drain it. Also, uh, I left it kind of loose. So when he tilts it this way to the side, he will be able to uh, go through here with an Allen key and get to those top two Allens. So yeah, it's convenient for him. Uh, the wire is kind of in the way at, this, at the moment, but you can see how I have it on a swivel. So he can move it whenever he needs to. Let me see where I put those 45s. I put them in here. Clean that up. Make sure that's nice. And queen all his old rusty bolts. These are all the old ones. And these are cool because they have like a little bite to them at the end so they don't back out. I like those so whatever but I think it looks good with the OEM style hardware I think it looks really really good god damn that girl was fine so it is what it is there we go ladies and gents boys and girls the stuff flame do, 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 do. okay yes i know welds look like whatever right but they did penetrate and that and i uh concaved this as you guys can see mm -hmm. so it's definitely oh sorry i've been at this all fucking morning trying to figure it out how to use that metal to make this work but um most of this was just eyeballing and I have to weld underneath, like the holes underneath. <coughs> so I salvaged the holes so he can cover those up. Right now, the boy is going to get me some flap disc for this thing. Grind these down. And then paint it. And then slap it all back in. And then bada bing. It's done. Now he can put his headers on. And it still has its structural integrity. And it's strong. So yeah. And if I have to bring this in more i can with my hammer um so i think it looks good for i mean for just a custom mock-up instead of having just big ass holes in the subframe i think it looks really good okay so i found these on the uh rec tl over there and he didn't have these before so now the cable pops perfectly normal this is what we got so far the catch can sits here it's zip tied zip tied there this is here it's zip tied here so this is not going anywhere it's stationary um i cut a piece of hose and put it right here so that way if it does rub against it it will not damage the hose itself now all i have to do is figure out where to put this bad boy and originally i wanted to put it down there right and if i fit it down here real quick for you guys to see That wasn't supposed to happen. Sorry, Raul. Set you right here real quick. There we go. Let me zoom out. So, originally I want to put it right here, right? But the uh, timing case is in the way. And the only bolt hole that I could put it to is this, this one. So, I'm a little off. So... What I might have to do is drill this hole a little bit bigger so that way I can get it on there. Um, the rubber hose fitting on the back side of this is not touching the housing. It's literally just the, uh, the aluminum itself. So I don't think that would be an issue. I'm shaking so much, I don't know why. Probably because I haven't eaten. Um, 
and then the hose would run down right down there and it would have some slack and it would be perfectly fine because over here is where his ba uh, battery tray goes which i j again i dropped that thing his battery tray goes there which is right here but what hasboard didn't tell me is that that bolts up there and that bolts up here so get out of the way even with this like that you see where i'm having an issue here so gonna have to figure something out might even have to modify this somehow maybe in order for it to fit there because it does bolt up here and it needs to go back more and then it bolts up down there so that's the issue i'm having when it comes to the battery i'll figure something out all right go ahead Sounds good. We're just uh, building compression, seeing how it sounds. No fuel getting to it right now because we have it disconnected. You can see that the ECU is disconnected, so. Barely hear it running. <laughs> yeah, just oil pressure, just building it up. So that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you slap that like button. Please make sure you guys subscribe so you guys are notified when I upload because I have a terrible, terrible upload schedule. My name is Chris from Lazy Man Garage, and I'm lazy, so you don't have to be. Peace.